Black Ink Crew fans. Hey, TV besties. Yes. All 10 of us. <laughs> yes. All 10 of us here. Yes. Because y'all know, it's not many of us still left. If you know, you know. It's not many of us still left. And I'm back here. Still hanging on with Black Ink. Y'all getting my reaction recap about these good old episodes. So we're on to episode 11 of season 10. It's six weeks later, y'all. And Puma is basically still trying to keep the Black Ink legacy alive. And here's the thing. At the end of the day, they can't be in Black Ink. Caesar is fired. So it's giving, y'all have to write, y'all have to now use the Black Ink crew platform to continue the legacy. I think it bothers me a little bit that they say the words Black Ink, Black Ink, because it's not really Black Ink. You're carrying on the legacy of Black Ink crew. And in a way, yes, yeah, still carrying on the Black Ink legacy, but, but technically you're not because you're not, even associated with Black Ink on this show. Is that making sense? Did that make sense to y'all? Nonetheless, Puma and Teddy had gotten together trying to figure out what what's the next best move? What's the next best thing? You know, is there, a, you know, a going forward without C's or whatnot? He even mentioned that he had even maybe even in some words talk to C's maybe about something y'all back me up or deny me on if I was even if I'm right even about that but so y'all everybody's you know like doing their own thing Crystal and Rock are you know at Gods of Ink broken up like they got their usual drama they're gonna have drama because she's gonna be like what was in my nerves about Crystal was I just felt like like she know that Rock is, you know, clearly wanted the relationship, wanting to get back with her, trying to fix it. And she, I feel like, is just rubbing it like all in his face. The fact that they are broken up, not getting back together. And then the fact that, you know, she's going to be seeing other people right in front of that man's face. Like, come on now. Where's the respect? Where's the respect? Like once in a part of time, Crystal, I was with homegirl, but now I'm girl, get it together. Like, stop playing. So, it's just a way to carry about things. Like, y'all gonna move on. Clearly, I got business together. But it's a way to, like, handle things and just to go about things. And it sounds like things could be still just a little bit fresh. So, yeah, I just wouldn't be bringing anybody that I'm seeing in the mix with my ex, knowing my ex still has feelings. That's just, that's asking for drama. Is it not? So, uh, whatever. Bay is, you know, back, you know, remember she, Bay kind of like always had like her own like little shop, like little jank on the side, like her own independent thing, like going on. It looks like Tati is still a being a, being an apprentice, you know, but this time like with Bay and under Bay, whatnot. I didn't hear nothing about her, her doing tattoos. So, Sound like she's still being an apprentice to me. Now, this whole thing, y'all, though, was about, at the end of the day, like I said, what's the name? Uh, uh, la, 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 la. Puma trying to get everybody to, trying to, you know, continue the legacy. Now, his whole thing, though, about it was he wants to, you know, he's about elevating. He wants to move up. So, the whole, him and Teddy were all on the same page of, like, moving forward, but they disagree in the fact of the location. Puma wants to put them, basically, on the lower east side or whatnot, and Ted is more of, like, no, we need to stay in the hood. Like, this is basically, like, what we're known for, especially if we're going to be keeping this black ink, you know, legacy alive. We need to stay in the hood. So, um, Puma, you know, brings Spider. He brings, um, 
uh uh Alex, he brings um obviously you know Ted and he brings um he asked Bay to come to the table and Bay was just like, you know, right now she, you know, has enough of what she's got going on. Her clientele at her little independent shop is picking up. Like that's just not something that she's ready to get into. Of course, Tati was feeling some type of way, but on the back end, Puma's just like right now, this is about the artist before I'm getting into, you know running you know i guess you know administration if you want to if you want to really be use professional terms of it basically so he brings um uh i would like to get like their names like home girl from um that came from nymag you know black ink chicago and um the other girl that uh Caesar had brung in from Texas or whatever or whatnot. He bring all them to the table, you know, to basically pull out his vision. He went on without Ted and went and, you know, looked at the spot, which, you know, I I like the spot. Like, I love the look of the whole brick, like whatever. Like, I'm with it. I'm into it. Like, I it looks like Jeff definitely a nice space to, you know, to elevate in and just to move on. Wonder, yo, though, what the world they going to name this shop, though. Like, what's going to be the name of this thing? That's what's really going to make things interesting as well. So, because like I said, like, technically, this isn't Black Ink affiliated. And this isn't Arts of Ink, you know, affiliated, like, either. So, technically, so to speak. So, he bring all them to the table. Spider is like not having it. It sounds like Spider's the only one working, still working in the actual black ink shop. Apparently, according to the late, you know, the girls that Caesar brought in um, earlier during the season, they never heard or got a phone call or whatever. And Alex, I don't even know. Like, Alex basically been doing like his only fans only. So spider is basically like one this is too soon and we're like i'm like bro it's a month and some change later like when were they supposed to start over when was you know like when what, what was the time going to be the good time like i get it you're a one day one you know you want to keep a legacy going but you don't necessarily want to you know, go against Caesar. So boom, cool. Like bow wow. Like he he Spider was like was not having it. And clearly as we gonna see, as you see and like the, you know, in the trailer or whatnot, like and that's why I wanted to make note that Puma said that in a way, like in some form of fashion, like him and like they talked or whatever or whatnot. And so when the news that Spider is going to bring, it's definitely going to be interesting. And the, the energy that both of them is going to be bringing is definitely going to be real interesting. Like Ted is already feeling some type of way. Uh, Spider feels some type of way. They're both like trying to call him like a mini Caesar or saying like, you're not Caesar. Don't be trying to be Caesar. I'm like, what, 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 where to? Because see, basically, Ted is not on board. Basically, everybody's on board except for Spider. He's like, yeah, yeah I, don't, I, don't, I don't know about none of this. And Ted is like, no, this ain't gonna be nothing if we're not gonna be in the hood. And so it looks like possibly, you know. Puma may move on without him or he may actually fold and see what, you know, try to find a place in the hood. Um, where I'm at with that is, is I can, can completely get where Puma is coming from of them elevating. Like what, what was the point of this here if not was to elevate? So, but when you're trying, I guess, when you're still trying to keep that, you know, trying to still trying to keep it home, still trying to keep loyal to your fan base and trying to keep it to what y'all were known for. And uh, I'm indecisive already as is, y'all. Do I ever really, as always, I always can just see, you know, from both sides, like, I, we shall see. 
I will be here. I hope y'all can be here with me for this season to get a small moment with me to hear my reaction, my recap to these wonderful episodes that we about to see. This could be an interesting season because it looked like he about to just start a whole Black Ink crew house. And to pick... It's about to be crazy. It's about to be crazy. So I hope y'all stick around here for it. Like this video if you hope if you enjoyed it. And hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, don't forget to bang the bell so you get notified when I drop these good old videos. And as always, peace. And I'll see y'all in the next one.